Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this patriotic reciprocal gradient for the 4th of July. And for those of my viewers that are not in the U.S., that is our Independence Day and a holiday for most people. So I decided to use the red, white, and blue colors and kind of do some stripes. I decided to skip the stars because I couldn't quite figure out how to incorporate that with the reciprocal gradient. But if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. So I'm starting off with just a base coat and then a basic white. I'm using Zoya Purity. And that's just so that I have kind of a neutral background to work with. The white that I'm actually going to be sponging with is Orly Aw Champagne, which has just a little bit of a shimmer to it. The red that I'll be using is Zoya Elisa. And the blue is Zoya Song. But unlike the other reciprocal gradients that I've done so far, I'm actually not going to be using all three colors on both layers. The first layer that I'm going to do is just going to be white and red. So I've got my makeup sponge here. And I'm just going to start out applying some of the white and I'm sure that probably doesn't show up very well on camera and then just a strip of red in between those. So here's two layers of sponging and just to help it dry a little faster I'm going to top with sesh feet. So I gave that some time to dry and as always before you apply the tape you want to make sure that it's completely dry. If it is still wet at all, you're going to be pulling up your base color when you pull up the tape, and that's going to be a messy situation. So before I got started, I took my um, painter's tape and my wavy pattern pinky shears, and I just cut out a bunch of little wavy strips, and I'm going to be applying two of those on each nail. So I'm finished applying the tape um, on both hands, I'll mention. I'm doing both hands at the same time. And if you don't have pinking shears or if you just don't feel like messing around with cutting out your own wavy stripes, you can certainly use just plain straight striping tape. I thought using kind of the wave pattern gave it a little bit more of a flag theme. And normally I would just go right into the next set of sponging. But since I'm using white and red, I'm going to go in again with Zoya Purity and just kind of cover up the red so that the white I'm sponging with um, doesn't have as much to cover. Now I'm going to be sponging with all three colors, with blue at the tip, white in the middle, and red toward the cuticle.
So I finished off two more layers of sponging and now it's time to remove the tape. So once all the tape is removed, I'm going to be cleaning up around my cuticles uh, with just a Q-tip dipped in some polish remover. And then to get in closer, I'm going to be using uh, my normal small brush dipped in polish remover. And the other thing that I'm going to be doing is, since I used a top coat to help the first couple layers dry, um, I'm going to be actually cleaning up some of the spots where the polish bled underneath the tape. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. I've got just a very small brush dipped in acetone and I'm just going to kind of go along the edges and try to clean that up just a little bit. Um, and that's optional and hopefully if you have your tape pressed down firmly you won't have to deal with that at all but it's just a very delicate process and like I said I'm able to do that because I have the layer of top coat between the two um, layers of sponging so the cleanup is all done and I'm just gonna finish everything off with sesh feet So here we have the finished design, and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Of course, I always like to know what you guys think, so be sure to let me know your opinion down in the comment section. If you don't like this design, I'll include a link to my 4th of July playlist in the information box, as well as at the end of this video. And that has a couple of water marble designs, as well as some other freehand art. So hopefully in there is something for everyone. I hope everybody has a safe and happy 4th of July holiday. And as always, thanks for watching.